Hello everyone, welcome back to Craft's Train Shed, and today we're doing another one of these station visit sort of things. You remember these? The last one was Dorridge, and we're in a similar area, but this time Whitlock's End. A train has just gone, it's going back to Worcester after reversing here, as it usually does. So, a bit of information about this station, it is on the Shakespeare line. And certain services terminate here, whilst others go to Stratford upon Avon. On the other way, going towards Birmingham, trains go to Kidderminster, Worcester, and occasionally I've seen Great Malvern. Now, I'll be totally real, it looks like a car park up there, but I want to see what's going on. So, we're going to go there, if that's alright with you, audience. CCTV. I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? I will not get any um, number plates in ideally because that will be a pain to blur. Right, so it looks a pretty generic car park if you if you ask me. And where is that? Shirley Town Football Club over there. And as you can see here are the train times. So yeah, uh, Stratford, Kidderminster, Worcester, Stratford, Kidderminster and probably Worcester again. So, I do apologise, by the way, for the lack of uploads. I do have this big project. Have I got the number plate in? No, I haven't. But I'm doing a big project where I show you the evolution, evolution of the railway, which I am very excited for. Right. So, yeah, this is Platform 2, in case you didn't already see. And we're going to head back down. I swear the fine used to be 1,000, but they must have changed it, or it may be slightly worse here, but warning, do not trespass 2,000. Don't trespass people. It's not good. It's not very good. They don't like it. So, yeah, we're going to now go down further to the end and have a look at some of the signage. So, as you can see over there, there's that very convoluted ramp and exit up for pedestrians. No, for step three access, and there's also one over there you can see. And obviously the stairway up is where we've just been. So if we go further down here, we've got the usual features, some signage, lighting, as well as dot matrix indicators, help points. There's a help point. There's a help point further down. And announcements, I do believe got these very nice I forget what colour they are well, not, like blood red would you say but like like the signage and this is like what most stations on the Shakespeare line to like we're going to have to go to a few more I'm thinking Danzy and a really cool case which I really want to go to the lakes so yeah there's the signage and now let's go to something quite wholesome and quite nice and I'm going to read this for you now Whitlock's End railway station has been adopted by the local community and is cared for by volunteers supported and sponsored by a community station partnership. Earlswood Garden and Landscape Centre, Friends of the Shakespeare Line, established 2020, and Westmanland's Railway. It's very nice, and a very nice plant as well. There's a few of these. There's one or two down there, and then there's one on this platform. So yeah, two over there. I think it's two on each platform. Right, if we go f slightly further down, six car marker you can see over there slightly. And it, as you see on the sign, Whitlock's End for Dickens Heath. I've realised my camera could die potentially, so we don't want that. So we're going to wrap up fairly quickly here. But before that, just admire how peaceful it is. A lot of the stations on this line are, but it's just nice to have somewhere peaceful compared to down there, Stratford which can be, I've heard, very busy and up there obviously Birmingham which as we all know is very busy. I also find it cool that it says Dickens Heath, like it gives more like unique stuff, unique detail and on the signs so if it ever gets auctioned away and you live in Dickens Heath you can say for Dickens Heath or something. But I think that's going to be it, what does the sign does that say? Oh, it's a red zone prohibited area, so I'm going to stay away from that. 
there's also some signage down there, I assume, for when they turn back and all that, because this station is, as I said, a bit different from the others. I'm going to leave you now with a peaceful few seconds of the tranquility of the station. I've been Cross Train Shed, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be a, net, a look at the evolution of the railway, part one. Just here, the occasional car, but apart from that, it's very peaceful.